Some people may find it difficult to understand the controversies in the Disney film Pocahontas, considering that it was based on a true story with a woman of color protagonist, and it slightly touched on the unfortunate history of Native American colonization. But even without the numerous lies that were told in order to romanticize a brutal reality, which we'll get at later, Pocahontas is severely problematic in its depictions of Native Americans in relation to pilgrims. Obviously, it is important to show the harshness of Native American colonization and how it was truly rooted in greed and hatred with the use of derog derogatory vocabulary. However, the problem is that the distinction between the settlers as wrongful colonizers versus adventurous explorers is too blurry. Starting with the opening song, Virginia Company, when the British settlers were leaving England by ship, there's so much joy and excitement depicted in the potential colonization and greed for gold, whereas the true evilness is not emphasized enough. Check out this short clip first. In 1607, we sailed the open sea for glory, God, and gold, and our Virginia company. For the new world is like heaven, and we'll all be rich and free. Look, is that Smith? That's him, all right. The old sea dog. Captain John Smith. I've heard some amazing stories about him. Are you coming on this voyage too? Of course he is, you halfway. You can't fight Indians without John Smith. That's right. I'm not about to let you boys have all the fun. John Smith as he comes onto the ship is so overemphasized. He walks in on his own with so much pride and confidence so he's perceived as a hero or someone who deserves fame. Even with the music change with the drum rolls right as John Smith is first in sight through the camera frame makes the audience more likely to consider John Smith as important or noteworthy. Then. The side characters are in awe when they see Smith. Specifically, we hear someone say, Captain John Smith, I've heard some amazing stories about him. Here's the problem. Obviously, colonizers were viewed as amazing explorers at the time of the British Empire and at the time that the British Empire was expanding. But to what extent is it justified for Disney to portray them as such likable individuals at a time in which Currently, it is generally agreed that colonization was pretty problematic. Using the word amazing to describe a colonizer may further the interpretation that John Smith is cool or simply likable. Then, we hear one of the crew members ask Smith, are you coming on this voyage too? To that, someone responds, of course he is, you half-wit. You can't fight Indians without John Smith. And then we see, John Smith's present even more masculinized or dram dramatized as he climbs onto the, ca onto the catapult that is being carried onto the ship with so much ease and comfort. Then Smith says, that's right, I'm not, all, I'm not about to let you boys have the fun. So not only is Smith a role model, a celebrity, or a famous explorer, but also colonizing is considered, considered fun. The fact that this is the opening scene of a movie about Native American colonization or genocide means that this is what children are exposed to first. As a result, they are instantaneously primed to, in a way, like John Smith's character, perceive him as some sort of celebrity, when in reality, John Smith's evil personality was known to point guns at Native Americans in Native American villages and demand them for food. 